crafty friends and welcome Amanda with Crafting with Amanda for day 29 of 30 days of sketches from Christie's Beautiful Life. I am actually doing this sketch made by Janet Fritt and Janet is from Galaxy Girl so go check her out. Um, most other people did this on day 16 of the month but I am doing it on day 29. <laughs> so I have these photos of my mom from multiple years and there's one that I don't know what year it is. All the rest of them I have that date. So on my Cricut I cut out my mom's name Sharon and then these little placards and I'll write the name or the years that the corresponds to the photos on those placards. And also in um, design space, I made a heart and then I made a frame on the heart and I duplicated it three times and kind of overlapped it. And so I cut out just this part of the heart as a frame. And for my heritage album to continue my theme or the thread that I'm keeping in of either the scalloped lace or the gray charcoal gray leaves, I am adding that also onto the sketch. And Janet actually has on her sketch some scallops. She has her um, just two pictures kind of in the lower left hand side of the heart and a journaling block and she has scallops there and then she has scallops along the upper right hand edge of the heart. But as I am using five of these photos, I don't have all that space. So I just cut those scallops apart so that I could bend them around, match the curve on this heart. And I'm gonna re put the photos back in place just so that I can see if I need all those scallops up there. And I was kind of feeling that there wasn't balance to this page. So I was trying to put the, the placards out and then I realized I needed to have more of the um, scallop lace down at the bottom of the heart. But then you'll also see that as I'm doing that, I'm realizing that the four of them in the upper corner is just too much weight. It's actually drawing my eye up there instead of at the photos. And my goal is to get you to kind of pull your eye to the photos. And I think with having three of those scallops along the upper corner, that kind of draws you right into the layout. So I'm looking for, I was going to cut those, but then I knew I had some pieces parts. So I just found the two of them that were together there. And I'm feeling like there needs to be something in this lower corner. And I looked at the sticker sheet, but there really wasn't enough flowers or other embellishments to go down in this corner. So I pulled out, I had some in just the white daisy cardstock of these 3D, 3D flowers, <laughs> excuse me, um, cut out. And I'm just trying to um, fit them here to see if they'll work. And I like this combination of one of the medium and then two of the small and then grab some flower or excuse me some leaves out of my little plate here of all the components that i've been using this whole month on the album so i go ahead off camera and cut out all of these pieces in colonial white and for whatever reason my camera decided to jump out here and it just went to black screen but what i did is i took that bone folder and i took the handle edge that's rounded and on that foam mat i just kind of um, drew the score blade down the foam mat on the paper to curl it up and now I am taking the green apple shimmer brush and adding just some dots in the center of the flowers. Before I glued these together I did take my blender brush and add some of the Carolina blue on the edges of the flower. I didn't want anything heavy just a little bit of color uh, to kind of just make something different. I've used these flowers all month and these leaves all month and I'm trying to do just a little bit different but the same if that makes any sense. So here I'm gonna dry fit and see what I like. I thought about getting some thread out and doing a thread tangle but again I thought that, that was going because there's only kind of one grouping of flowers that adding a thread tangle or even two to that was gonna draw your eye away from the photos and my goal is to definitely try to focus on the photos. So I'm gonna off camera glue everything down and I pop dotted up those little placards with the years on them. And with the same green apple shimmer brush, I wrote the years on each of those placards. And going through my stash, I found these, it's almost like a vellum, a frosted vellum flower from close to my heart that was sold um, probably a couple of years ago. And so I'm just peppering these around the layout as well just to give some interest and again keep similar techniques 
going without being boring in this album. I have had requests for an album share and I had planned to do that all along. So stay tuned till Thursday's video where I will walk you through all the pages that I've created so far for this album. I do plan to continue this. Um, I normally put out three videos a month and one or a month a week and one of them will be a card based on these sketches that i did i'll do um, cards based on the sketches of this month and then once a week i will do another heritage album and the other time i will do more modern fresh album so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i invite you to do that now here's another video you may be interested in all the links for the others playing with christy's beautiful life of 30 days of sketches is in the description blessings